אוקיי, גוד מורנינג to you all, בוקר טוב, thank you for coming, uh, I'm honored to open this first human brain project education workshop, special thanks to Professor Aloy Saria who offered and uh, gave us the privilege to host this work workshop, thank you very much. Um, yes, it's okay. I'd like to welcome you all, the distinguished speakers and students coming from uh, Europe and even the States. Thank you. Uh, and to the Israeli uh, students and speakers, special thanks to our host, the Segal School uh, of Neuroscience and Professor Uri Asheri, that together with all of us, uh, Professor Saria, Christine, Elizabeth, Yulia, and Ruti made it happen. I hope you will enjoy and benefit from these three days and enjoy Tel Aviv University and maybe Tel Aviv, the city. Uh, the workshop has, from my point of view, the right topic, uh, the broad spectrum of brain research, uh, with a very right focus on education. Uh, brain research is nowadays uh, the flagship research um, area in Europe, uh, United States, uh, Asia, Japan, Singapore, all over the world. Uh, science and technology has really uh, reached the matured stage providing the know-how, the technologies, uh, the sophisticated tool to enable and support the broad field of uh, neuroscience and brain research. Focusing on education uh, for my belief, is the right and accurate message, and it is our duty to nurture the future Renaissance scholars in science and technology. We already know that our body is a complex uh, machine refined in a very sophisticated way, and so is the brain, the conductor of this concert with a very special orchestra. As Sigmund Freud said, it is the basis of our humanness, uh, referring to the central nervous system in his interpretation of Dream's book in uh, 1899. Personally, I must say, my small dream came true. As I was preaching for years, I must say more than 24 years, uh, to converge technologies and join forces. Um, to include the brain research as part, of the, as part of the system's biology and to relate to the human body and its surrounding as one functioning system. Uh, this is actually the, finish, the definition of the NSF, the nanobioinfocogno uh, definition of the United States NSF. I even came up with a targeted project just to prove, to prove that these four letters could stay together and this project was very successful. So there is something up there. Um, uh, even here in this audience, there are some people who suffered my preaching um, for a long time, like um, Idan Segev and uh, others like Adin Dudai. And, um, and uh, even came up, Idan even came up with the phrase, Art in science, advanced research technology in, in uh, science, but art in its broadband, art and art, and this is what I meant in Renaissance. Uh, so here we are presenting the broad field of brain research in these uh, three days with a special education focus hosted by the Segal School. Um, which is teaching, you know, from undergraduate to PhD level at Tel Aviv University. And thus, I want to invite the president of Tel Aviv University, Professor Joseph Klafter, a professor in chemical physics, uh, specializing in theoretical condensed matter, involved in single molecule, etc., that can, could easily be applied at the brain research. Thank you. Please. First of all, Mira, I wanted to say that I also suffered. So uh, 
Good morning to our colleagues and students from abroad and colleagues and students from throughout Israel. And it's really a special privilege to us at Tel Aviv University to host the first Human Brain uh, Projects uh, Educational wor Workshop. Tel Aviv University has placed bra brain research and its educational aspects in the uh, uh, front, forefront of uh, its priority, priorities. Now, Tel Aviv University uh, is one of the younger universities in Israel, yet is the largest university now, and it's very comprehensive and actually covers every area of knowledge you can think about, uh, from the sciences through humanities uh, and the arts, with a very big and influential complex in uh, biomedical complex. And uh, all this, of course, in the beginning, as when I entered the president, is quite frightening. But then, of course, there is an added value when you know how to reduce the barriers among these disciplines. So when I describe the agenda of the university, so the agenda, uh, uh, I would, I, is the way I describe it, was three eyes, in interdisciplinary, uh, uh, international, and interactive. The two first eyes, international and interdisciplinary, actually are this lowering of barriers between disciplines and between cultures. And this really brings cross-fertilization uh, to the system and new ideas uh, really come up. So the university really goes very strongly in this direction. And we have, uh, for instance, the uh, Nano Center, which has, I think, uh, about six or five or six faculties involved there. We have the cybersecurity, which also covers large parts of the campus, uh, Mediterranean studies. And I would say that the flagship of all these programs uh, is actually the Sagol School of Neuroscience. And we have Mr. Sagol with us here, actually an honorary doctor of Tel Aviv University, so Dr. Sagol. Uh, and uh, this is actually the flagship of these uh, programs. It uh, uh, unites seven out of our nine faculties. And uh, I would say that the potential there is really amazing. The idea to create a Sagol school and not just a center is also an idea that uh, I think is unique to Tel Aviv University and combines really the research with uh, education. Now, all these uh, interdisciplinary and, and international actually create a very fertile ground for innovation. Because uh, when you ask what brings to uh, innovation, it's basically, again, cross-fertilization or pollination of cultures and disciplines. And uh, I landed this morning uh, from uh, uh, Berlin very early. And uh, on the way, I read something that made me, of course, very proud. And uh, it's clear when you hear what I'm going to say. Uh, a month ago, we had with us here uh, uh, Ronnie Chen, a businessman from uh, uh, Hong Kong. Uh, and he brings groups to Israel from time to time, business, other business people. He's very dedicated to Israel. And uh, he knows Tel Aviv University. And he was interviewed to Haaretz, which is the New York Times of Israel on a much smaller scale. Uh, and I'll read to you what I read uh, early this morning, and uh, you know, I, it, it was very, very, actually, for us, quite exciting. He writes, or he says, my friends, he means uh, in Hong Kong, China, my friends are very interested in Israel. Why? Because it is so successful in technology. My friends line up to come with me to Israel because they want to know how the hell you guys did so well in technology. So I'm bringing them, I'm bringing them to Tel Aviv University. I told President Yossi Klafter, which happens to be me, uh, uh, Israel is the startup nation. What is the capital of the startup nation? Not politically, of course. Uh, from the point of view of entrepreneurship, creativity, and technology, it is Tel Aviv. And now comes the highlight. And uh, what is the, what or where is the seat of the government of Startup Nation? This is Tel Aviv University. So in the name of the government of Startup Nation, I would like to welcome you to this meeting. <laughs> and uh, I wish you really an interesting three days of interaction and uh, 
and exchange of ideas. Thank you very much. Uh, and now from our local host to our HBP host, uh, Professor Alois Saria, the Education Work Package uh, leader, uh, and actually, as I said, the one who brought us all here, and thank you. Uh, Professor Saria is a biochemist specializing in mechanism of actions of psychoactive, I did it, uh, psychoactive drugs. Uh, he was awarded in 2007 the gra Grand Decoration of Honor by the Austrian president. Um, he is uh, a highly cited researcher, which is the other very important point of view, uh, in pharmacology. Uh, more than 12,000 um, cited upon, uh, in, upon the 2002 information. <laughs> and is nowadays a member of the Finance Committee of the Society of Neuroscience. I didn't say it all, but just a few, please. Well, it's the president of Tel Aviv University, uh, Mira, Uri, uh, dear colleagues, students. I would like to welcome all of you to this workshop, this first workshop of the Human Brain Project. Uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to the president of Tel Aviv University and, and all the local hosts uh, that uh, we are allowed to be here for this workshop. And uh, I would like to just, just briefly tell you uh, some key points about the Human Brain Project, and then you may understand why we are here in Tel Aviv. Uh, the Human Brain Project uh, at the moment uh, consists of, of more than 100 partner universities internationally, mostly from Europe, but not only from Europe, but also internationally. Uh, it is the, the biggest effort uh, in, in research ever funded by the European Commission uh, and, uh, of course, you may understand that this faces a lot of uh, difficulties and challenges, and particular also to education and training. So the Human Brain Project uh, considers education and training of students and young scientists is a very, very important part of this project, uh, since uh, this project uh, needs to bridge various uh, different disciplines from biology, medicine, to computing, mathematics, and physics. And uh, such programs are hardly existing uh, in Europe and uh, internationally already. So the, the mission of education and training in the Human Brain Project is actually to bridge these gaps and guide uh, students and young scientists into the future of neuroscience, medicine, and computing. And uh, this is actually uh, the reason, these arguments are the reason why we are here in Tel Aviv, because Tel Aviv University first is partner of the Human Brain Project. Second, uh, a number of uh, distinguished scientists of Israel are also uh, principal investigators in the Human Brain Project. And I think the Segal School of Neuroscience is one of the very few examples of a truly transdisciplinary curriculum that has already been implemented. So uh, I think uh, uh, what, what we are attempting at this workshop uh, is actually, uh, there are actually two goals, if you wish, or two tasks. One is to uh, in, inform uh, students and, and educate the students who are here and I'm very grateful that we also have a number of international students and also a number of students from Israel uh, to, to let you know where, the f where neuroscience is heading to, where we expect the future neuroscience to be. And second, and also uh, very important, uh, tomorrow will be the, the panel discussions where we will address a number of the issues and challenges uh, in education and training uh, the methods uh, overcoming the problems of this dislocated uh, 
needs with so many different partners. And uh, I would like to encourage uh, especially the students uh, to interact during these discussions because uh, I think uh, it is also extremely important that we as, a, as scientists and, and educators get the, get the feedback from the young scientists, from the students, to, to really being able to assess uh, what, what the young scientists think they need, not only what we think the young people need, but what also what they think they need. So uh, I hope that we will have uh, two and a half days of very lively discussions, interactions, and I thank again the local hosts for uh, uh, making this possible and I wish all the guests, the students and distinguished scientists from abroad also a nice day in Israel. Thank you. Thank you, Alois. Um, and now we have a very special guest here that I want to invite, Professor, Professor Christina Bentlow. Uh, she is the Vice Rector of, uh, for Research and International Relation at the Medical University in Innsbruck. She is the head of the neurobiochemistry and the past president of the uh, Austrian Neuroscience Association. Please. Well, dear Mr. President of the Tel Aviv University, dear Mira, dear Alois, <laughs> and also uh, dear guests and colleagues. And, uh, I'm very honored to be here and uh, I thank Mira a lot for the invitation to come here and also to accompany Alois and his team and uh, who is the, as you have heard already, the main organizer of the uh, coordination project for the uh, curriculum development also and, audio and of the educational program of the Human Brain Project. And as Alice has mentioned, there is a common agreement now that understanding of the functioning, but also of the dysfunctioning of the brain, in particular the human brain, right, requires a collaborative effort from many different disciplines, and uh, such as neurobiologists, MDs, physicists, chemists, engineers, computer scientists, philosophers, and other disciplines. And consequently also, not only the research projects, but also the educational, the training in neuroscience has to combine multiple approaches. In order to empower the next generation of the students to communicate across the seemingly diverse disciplines and to make them and to help them, to foster them, to uh, embark on their own projects and their own contribution to the extremely fast growing field of neurosciences. Of course, to develop a curriculum is a daunting task. And already yesterday evening, we were emerging immediately into this topic. The language of a psychophysicist may seem far removed from that of a single PCR person like me, right? Or a cell biologist, or a computer scientist. And I know from back home how difficult it is even to communicate with colleagues that are under the umbrella neurosciences, right? So we need to develop a common language. And this is, I think, also something that will be one of the most difficult tasks here in developing a uh, curriculum. Because all in the end, all disciplines and all approaches, and uh, we need to develop also further respect for the different approaches. And uh, because they are needed, if we want to gain enough insight into the nervous system function. Of course, when Alois mentioned that he would be, or that the medical university would be part of the Human Brain Project. We were extremely proud, no question about it, to be part of the flagship enterprise of Europe. 
But at the same time, we thought, oh my God, why couldn't he choose something different rather than trying to develop a common curriculum, right? But I think he's the right person, and he has now also uh, gathered a wonderful team of uh, people that help him. And from our point of view, I think he's uh, the person who has ex a lot of experience. He was running a lot of fence projects. He was running a lot of educational neurotrain projects and so on. So therefore, I think uh, Alois is the right person to do so. And I all wish you the best for this workshop. I'm looking forward to uh, very fruitful discussions. And uh, also on behalf of the rector of the Medical University Innsbruck, our best wishes to Israel and our best wishes to Tel Aviv University. Thank you very much.